No, nobody was. No, none of the producers, none of the writers, AMC, nobody expected any of this to occur. They didn't know much, did they? Dude, you no. don't know much because I got to tell you, you may think you know how to make a movie or a TV show, but the, the, but the audience, the, the, the middle America, the listening and viewing public will tell you different many, many times. They have in the past and they will in the future. And, and um, we love The Walking Dead. I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead too. But I gotta tell you, man, there's some good stuff out there right now. Game of Thrones is hot. It's hot. There's some good stuff out there. And, uh, uh, you know, they got competition. And that's good. The better all these shows are, the better we, the better material we get to watch. Better, yeah. So it's awesome, man. I, I love it. So. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you so much. It's not easy being green. <laughs> oh God, she is green. I can't tell. My things are green and you look blue. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're green. Well, my question is for Michael. I was just wondering, how did you feel when the guard killed you because everyone was freaking out when you died? Yeah, I, I, I felt dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no, you know what? Um, I knew I knew it was gonna happen two, three weeks beforehand. So uh, I just I knew it was gonna happen. So I just wanted it to happen a, a, a certain way, and I wanted to. I, my big my big thing was Merle kind of came into the show with ass kicker, and I wanted to go out and ass kicker. Simple as that. And I said, let's try to make the writing, make try to make the show about about the whole redemption thing, but still, I, I'm not one of these actors that want to wallow in self-pity and bullshit like that. So, if you write that for me, you might as well expect me to say I ain't saying that. Which he does all the time, by the way. I ain't saying that. <laughs> I, say, I, I say it all the time. I don't and, say it. I, no, I, I, would, I wouldn't say that. I don't say that. You know? And I, then all of a sudden, the writers huddle. Oh, no. What are you saying? <laughs> He's looking at us. He's looking at us. I don't know what he said. I wrote what I thought he said. That's true. But the writers are, are really cool people. They after after a show is running for a while, they start writing for you. They figure it out. They sort of figure it out real quick and they write for you. And so I'm from Alabama, so I have a, a southern thing inside me that has a, a natural uh, rhythm and a natural way of saying it. And um, and so when, when we get, sometimes for me in the business, when I get writers that are from New Hampshire or, or New York and they're writing Southern, I, I, I read it and I go, oh God, I can't read it. <laughs> I know what they want to say, but it's just, it's, it's, it's pathetic and it's almost making me nauseous. It ain't going to be said that way, but for damn sure. So that's what happens. I usually colloquialize things, uh, yeah, make it my yeah. that, that kind of thing. Make it sing. Thank you. Good, Thank good you, question. Green person. Uh, this question is to Mr. Roker. Uh, first of all, welcome to McAllen Convention Center. Thank you. Okay. Uh, my question is: uh, in TV, they have a rule of saying of of what words to say, basically. Yeah. And like, you can't go any stronger with any profanity. Yeah. Like the F word. Yeah. But so, how did you get away with uh, flipping the finger on the show? Yeah, that the finger? You mean that? <laughs> Did I do that on the show? I saw it on Several times? <laughs> it sort of comes out natural. I Which episode? Know. I get a yeah. I saw it on episode uh, two. Yeah. And you know what? They You just do it and then they cut it if they don't like it. I don't care. You know, I just say stuff, and, it, and sometimes they come up and go, mm. and I go, oh yeah, I can fix that. I just don't say it again, you know. And it depends on what that too. Yeah. It depends you know, on the so network. You can get away with something. We we try to get away with mu as much as possible, but they do have very Which specific, yeah. very very specific uh, uh, rules, and I don't know all of the rules, and I don't try to know these rules. I don't want to pre-edit or pre. I don't, I, I give two shits about the, the rating board. 
I'm an actor and an artist, so I just say it the way I want to say it, and if they don't want to keep it, they're going to cut the shit off. They're going to cut the off. You know, I'm not going to go into the scene and say, oh, well, I can't say shit, I can't say piss, I can't say dick, I can't say this, and that, and this, and that. Then it, like, ruins everything. All you're thinking about now is, like, what I can't say, and what's, then what's really going on in the scene. Yeah, you don't want to be distracted. You know, you don't want to be Screw that stuff. <laughs> yeah, but you know, they cut it. If they don't like it, they just cut it. I, I leave it up to them. I say it, they let me say it, and then they cut it. <laughs> yeah, there's been some good stuff that's been cut. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> like, what happened? Now I understand why they cut that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hi, Mr. Rooker. I'm sorry I'm going to be the jerk to ask this, but. Uh, uh, are you still haunted by the chocolate covered pretzel joke? Ah! <laughs> I love chocolate covered pretzels. Especially dark chocolate. And, and yeah, I, I eat those things all the time. And that's why we ended up using chocolate covered pretzels. You know, those guys wanted to know what kind of treat I liked. <laughs> and then that's perfect, works right with the scene. Slither, which was seven hours. <laughs> and uh, so the two hour makeup for the for the zombie work was really pretty simple. Uh, a fairly easy cakewalk for me. Not a problem. And now you can be blue, I think. Uh, now I am actually blue, yes, and Guardians of the Galaxy is blue. I'm excited. Yes! Okay, my question is for Mr. Rooker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the scene where you know you die in the, in the last episode, second to last episode of season three, what's going on through your head when you're drinking and toying with the zombies in the Oldsmobile or in the, in the old car? Yeah. And you think that affected the outcome of you know getting killed by the government? If you no. hadn't had that drink. <laughs> no, no, I was just I was just toying with those zombies. I just wanted them to come closer to the car, and I was going to play Pied Piper. You know, that was the idea. I, I was like, well, how are we going to get, how are we going to, you know, we got to have a, a, a some sort of thing going on here, you know? So I, I was like, okay, well, we'll, we'll just play, I, I play Pied Piper, you know, and I play the music and, you know, offer them a drink and tease them a little bit and move forward. And then they cut out a lot of that where I move forward, they come for me, and then I move forward, they come for me, move forward. We were doing like a little leapfrog thing. And so drawing all the zombies with me was kind of cool. And they were really good. The actors that were playing the zombies were trying to get to the car. And they're like, they're slapping at the car and falling down. And I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they had the zombies shuffled down good, man. And I, I got to tell you, when you see that episode again, be very proud that I didn't break a spine or a neck. or Because I did the rolling out of the car myself. so. That was really a lot of fun. Yeah, that's what affected the, that's what affected the body. <laughs> okay, guys, we only have uh, time for a few more questions, so we're going to take the next three questions, and then uh, after that, this will conclude the panel. So, thank you guys. Make sure you come see us and ask any questions that you didn't get to well, ask we're going, us we're, going, we're all going back to our tables, right? I believe you. Yeah. We're all going back to our perspective tables, so you guys, Come on back out there, hop in line, wait 10 more hours. No, just kidding. <laughs> just joking, but uh, we're going to be out there for the, the remainder of the evening and uh, hanging out and seeing fans and signing stuff, so you all come on out. So go ahead, Ms. Hatton. Yeah, a uh, question for the three of you. Um, you know that there are actors and you know, makeup and everything, but does that ever get to you? Do you feel... Like we really want to chop that head off? <laughs> do we scared? Mm -hmm. Oh, do we get scared? Yeah. I don't actually thought I was going to have nightmares. Because the, yeah, the first time I saw the, the, song, the walkers, it was like a hundred of them. So I'm like, I'm about to get yeah. the hell out. <laughs> yeah, there's but, a lot I mean, of them. It's a mass. It would be, you know, if, you, if this mob came at you, that's what it's like. It's it's a, a lot of people. I, I, yeah. I, you know, again, those chicks were hot. <laughs> <laughs> once, I figured, once I figured that out. Uh, <laughs> Come again. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. And 
And then it was my mind. Interesting. Thank you. This question is for Michael? Yes, ma'am. I'm a guy, but okay. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, yes, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> I can't see, man. What do you expect? As a walker, how did human flesh taste? What? As a, as a walker, how did human flesh taste? Well, you know what? It was delicious, actually. I had, you that? Yeah. It was wonderful. It was the uh, pulled pork. Yes. I had the pulled pork. I had different types of meats in there. There was a there was sirloin. There was pulled pork. Different textures. Um, what about it, that sausage you ate? What was that? No, it was awesome sausage. It actually ended up being vegetarian sausage. But the vegetarian sausage tasted just like me. Um, you know, like the intestines, when I started pulling the intestines out. Uh, they, they also have, I must say, that the guys that do that work, they have, uh, they have vegan innards, they have real meat innards, and they have vegetarian innards. So no matter who your uh, your perspective, your your you're gonna your eat. zombie, you're gonna eat. You're gonna get to eat. <laughs> you might not want any barbecue after that, but <laughs> <laughs> you won't eat. <laughs> uh, next question, go ahead. I know that the show has had tremendous success, and uh, I just wanted to know if uh, <clears throat> due to the violence and the graphic, and I know each episode has. Uh, Disclaimer on it: uh, Has there ever been complaints that the show is too violent, too bloody, too gory? By the by we the hope. Show? Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's always complaints. My granddad used to say, "There's an ass for every seat." So uh, <laughs> you're always going to have complaints. Yeah. People are liking this. Don't. I don't like